is when there's a call for heat, this here gate will open right here. So it pushes open and it allows the auger to start to feed the pellets in. And the pellets drop in, and this lower auger feeds the pellets into the bed. And once they get to a certain level, this is your igniter. So it's like a hot air gun. And what it does is actually lights the pellets on fire automatically. And then the one down below, that little auger down below, is actually a walking bed. So what it does is it pushes the pellets along and keeps them burning. And as they burn, they drop down into the ash auger when they come to the end of the line. And then it feeds it up through to the bin. Okay? So as this is running to get a really clean burn, like your car, it has an O2 sensor in the back. So it's actually reading what the oxygen level is during the burn, and it adjusts. There's flappers in here, and this fan, and it adjusts the amount of air that's actually going into the burn. There's two flappers on the back that allow the air to come up to the bottom, and it tries to get to an O2 level of 8% while it's burning. And it sits at 8% and has a perfect burn all the time. So this is actually as clean as natural gas when it's burning, because it's burning at a perfect burn. Because you can't shut off a wood fire, you can't turn it off like an oil appliance, what happens is there's a pump that pumps all of the hot water that the boiler's made into a storage tank. So there's a 1500 liter storage tank. What it does is it's got sensors, three sensors in the tank, and it's reading the temperatures as it's filling up the hot water. It reads the temperature, and as it gets close to that set point at the top, then it starts to turn the boiler down so it doesn't overheat it. So it stops feeding the pellets, lets the fire burn down, and then once it sees the tank has started to cool, it restarts the boiler, heats it up, and goes through the same process. So the boiler automatically starts, automatically stops, it's everything automated. So this is the, the ash bin, so as the pellet boiler is running, it augers the ash up and it drops into that bin, then you can take it out, dispose of it, put the new bin in. Um, under normal circumstances, it would probably be three months, months before we took it. 